Hi everybody, welcome to my lab. My name is Scott Card, and today I wanted to give something back to the wonderful community of OBS users. Uh, you know, everybody's been so great at offering advice and posting lots of videos, showing us noobs how to do some wonderful things with this very powerful software. Uh, and so I wanted to, to create a video today to address something that I couldn't find a solution to. And that is how can I uh, submit or, and that is how can I create content in 4K that when I don't have a 4K monitor and everything that I saw online said, you shouldn't do this. And the reason is that if you're gaming in 4K, uh, then that's great. But if you're trying to take uh, what your computer thinks is uh, a full, HD, so, so 1080p, and upscale it, it's it's not going to work well. And some other people had the suggestion that, yes, you could do this. Uh, you could have a larger canvas and then uh, don't scale it, and, and that way you could have multiple windows, and that, that's great. Uh, but the reason I wanted to be able to do this is because I, I create videos for my students, particularly, and uh, some software, and I want to be able to zoom in on some content. And so I don't want to have to do it in pre-processing. I'd much rather record in 4K, uh, even though it eats up a lot more space, and uh, then uh, go and zoom in on an area in post-process. And uh, so the, the probably the best and easiest way would be to uh, go out and buy a 4K monitor. But I'm a little frugal and I just can't really warrant it at this point. And quite frankly, my three 1080p monitors suit me quite quite nicely because of my workflow. And so today, I want to show everybody how to do it for super cheap. All right? Okay, welcome back. Uh, so how did I manage to create a 4K content with only a 1080p monitor? The answer is this is my monitor. And I'll link it in down below. This is available from uh, Amazon. It emulates, it's a headless uh, uh, dongle that allows the GPU to think that there's a monitor actually attached and I can I can upscale this to all the way to a cinematic 4k uh, so true 4k and uh, you know I, I found that that's a little bit problematic because I don't want the black bars on the top uh, when displayed on a 1080p uh, the 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio so I, I brought it back one scale and as I said in the in the intro, the idea is that I want to be able to record my screen captures uh, in in when I'm when I'm teaching the software, and so that I can zoom in and give some finer detail on things like menu bars and and icons. Okay, so let's take a look at what I actually have going. All right, I'll plug it in. <clears throat> Okay, so fantastic. Um, yes, and we are still recording. Perfect. Uh, so what do we have here? We have uh, what looks like a blank screen. You'll notice that I've taken the time to get rid of the, the menu bar over here on the side. I found it's uh, a little bit unprofessional when I'm trying to create some, some content to have everybody see all the windows that I have open and also what time it is. Oh my God, you're up that late working. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what you can see here is if I go into, into my display settings and of course it always pops up into a different menu. Uh, I have my three physical monitors. These are all 1080p and I've created uh, this, this, this monitor here. And, um, so I've set it up so that the windows are all 250% uh, of scaled up. So, so that otherwise the, the windows are so small that you'd have to zoom in to see them anyway. 
uh, and I have it set up to uh, 3840 by 2160. And um, that's pretty much all there is for the window setup portion of it. And so here's, here's the first piece of software that I'll pull in. Uh, this is Proteus. And this is the way it actually looks on my 1080p. And what I've done is I've created a uh, layout for my for my OBS, and I'll I'll try to to grab a grab a an image somehow of 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 how I have this laid out. But basically, the monitor the center monitor takes up the entire screen, so it's almost like looking at a full screen. Uh, there's no nothing obtuse about it. And then towards the left, a monitor, I've stretched out my OBS so that I can actually see all of my controls. And the only trick is to make sure that when I'm working, that I'm not working on my center monitor, that I'm working on the 4K, which is actually way over there for me. Uh, in your view, it's over there. But this is the way I usually have this set up. Okay, so... I have on this screen all of my all of my controls, and I have a full screen here, and uh, so you can see that I am actually displaying my display. So we get the infinite windows, um, but you can imagine with the with the full 4K, it fills up my entire monitor quite nicely. Okay, and so let's. Uh, Let's jump into uh, my Lightworks now, and I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you how how uh, how that works out when I start to zoom in on some of this some of this content. All right. All right. Here we are. We're in uh, in my Lightworks, and I've already imported the file. And you can see uh, there's not a whole lot to look at here right now, uh, but when we scrub through, we'll see a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, I recorded it at, at uh, 23, uh, 8, 9. The reason why I'm recording down at, uh, 24 frames per second is because my camera, my, my poor little Canon SX510 that I do, I do all my screenshot or my talking head on, uh, it, it's, it's, it's at a fixed rate. And so there's not a whole lot I can do, uh, to sync it up other than make sure that all of my recording uh, from OBS matches the frame rate, and then I'm able to sync it a lot easier. Um, wishing I had a better camera, but this is what I have. As I said, I'm a, I'm quite frugal and uh, trying to work on a bit of a budget. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, and, but you can see that uh, this is actually uh, recorded. So my video, as well as two audio tracks. Now uh, I'm recording in mono. Again, because uh, being frugal, I have a set budget for my audio recording device. So uh, we'll leave that alone. Uh, where I hide it on my computer, you don't really care. But uh, you can see that it is actually in a QF HD. So that's uh, that's great. I have my 16-9 uh, uh, ratio. And uh, the auto format, audio format, we don't really care about. So uh, let's go in and do some editing here. Let's uh, pull this guy into my timeline. And let's see, somewhere, hey, perfect. Uh, we have uh, some, some information here, something that we want to zoom in on. Uh, this seems like a good spot. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put a couple of breaks in here. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll clean this up for the, for the, for the actual, the actual video, but the idea is here that I can go into uh, my uh, via VFX and we can start to add in this case a 2D EVE. So, and let's start by scaling this to uh, 200%, uh, 0.25, and uh, 0.25. There we go. Go the right way. This will be zero. Perfect. And this will actually be one. And so there we're able to zoom right in and get the best resolution that we possibly could. Uh, now this is zoomed in even further than what we should have. Uh, really what you want uh, to, to be 
to be perfectly fair, is uh, one uh, not point seven five, and in this case, point five. Nope, point two five. Uh, so this this is uh, double double the the image, and so not bad. It's not bad, and so it does the trick for me. And could could I game on this this way? I I think I actually could. Um, now my computer, you know, I, I'm running a a, a Maxwell, so an M two thousand Quattro. Uh, it's, it's not the newest card in the world, but four gigs, it does all right for CAD. Uh, it does well for video rendering, what I do. Uh, and uh, I'm running quite an old computer. It's a it's an i7 quad core, uh, hex core, so I, I do have 12 threads to work on. Um, solid state hard drive, a solid state drive, and you know, 24 gigs of RAM. It, it's not a slouch, but this is not a gaming computer. This is a CAD computer and um, was purpose built for that. Uh, so I will never game uh, like blog on it. So that's that's not a thing for me. If if uh, if you want to give this a try, you know what? It's not going to be too crazy expensive for you, but it all still comes down to the quality of your video card. And so don't expect to, you know, throw throw a 1080 uh, or even smaller in there, some some little Radeon card, and you're going to be, you know, up there looking like the uh, professional uh, gamers uh, blogs. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but if you do want some content like I do, uh, and you want to be able to zoom in and, and work with some more rich files, um, because the one thing to remember is that you can't actually uh, increase the resolution once it's recorded. You're much better to record in high resolution and then pull it back. All right. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to take a look at this help menu. I can, in post-processing, uh, so see, mom, no hands, uh, we can zoom in on some little feature there. And because I'm, I'm able to, to flip back and forth between my monitors, I can also pull in, <clears throat> excuse me, things, things like my AutoCAD and same deal. Uh, and so it looks and feels uh, like a 1080p, but with the much higher uh, pixel density. Okay. And so um, here, if we were to draw something, right, again, you can zoom in and do all the things that you would want to, but you can also go into uh, all of the menus and I can show, hey, look, this is this is the button that I'm actually uh, clicking on and be able to uh, manip manipulate that like so. All right. I guess I should also show you what it looks like when you don't have, um, when you don't have that full HD to start with. Okay, so let's uh, let's change things up here a little bit. Okay, uh, so uh, let's take one more look here at uh, some of our some of our uh, menus when we don't actually capture it in full uh, HD. And so here we are. Uh, this is you know already zoomed in. So uh, what happens when we uh, capture at uh, 1080 and try to zoom in? Uh, our full uh, two hundred percent, as as the other one. All right. As you can see, it's not very impressive. It's, uh, I mean, it's still legible, but it's not crisp and sharp the way that uh, the way that it looks on a ten eighty p. Just because that's the way it goes. Resolution is what resolution is. All right. Well, I'm gonna have fun post editing this. Okay, so that's it. If uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what? A thumbs down is a okay with me. I, I really appreciate any constructive criticism that may come along with it. And if you want to be uh, kept apprised of any new videos that I create, uh, hit the, uh, the subscribe and, and the bell icon, and you'll be kept up to date and help support my channel, which would be most appreciated. All right. 
Thanks. And as always, have yourself a great day. All right. Bye now.